Okay, I turned the tractor off. I'm going to try to do a little bit better video uh, of this attachment I put on my Kubota L3400. This is not a hydrostatic tractor. Um, it's just got the little shuttle shift. It's, uh, you know, got a clutch. But it's been a great little tractor. It is a 2007 model. I have a Kubota LA463 loader. And this project entailed a few things. First of all, I bought just the quick attach part not not don't ignore the bucket but just the quick attach part because this loader came with just a pin on bucket i ordered the quick attach uh from skidsteer.com they build it specific they build them specifically for your loader so they're, they're they, it, literally it was so easy to put on the, uh, what i like about this loader it's so easy it's just got four little pin bolts you know, bolts you pull out, one on top, one on bottom on each side. You can see them over there. I literally just unpinned the old bucket, and then I pulled those pins out. The quick attach just went right on. This is a to fit universal skid, skid steer attachments. Uh, it's got nice, I consider them, you know, heavy-duty uh, levers and pins. They, they, they just operate really nice. I just, just have to keep those greased. Uh, many of you are very familiar with these, especially run skid steers. Uh, I got this so I could put, if I wanted to put some uh, certain skid steer attachments on here, I could. But this project entailed me modifying my bucket. So I cut off all the old brackets on my bucket. I built a whole new uh, system so this would quick attach to it. I probably would not do that again. I probably wouldn't recommend this to people. It, it took me about 10 hours. Of, of modifying you can see I, I this I, I get quite a bit of this on my Facebook page um, but building all of that and modifying the bucket making a lot of cuts it came out nice but it, it took me a little bit to do it and this is I do metal work for a living so uh, it took me about 10 hours it's, it's all out of 3 8 every, everything's out of 3 8 uh, plate steel I did double up Let's see if I can show it I did double up under the bottom where the where the pin goes through uh, right in here I put a piece of, it's 3 8 then I put a piece of half inch on top of that just to give me more meat for that locking mechanism to hit I just bought some uh, it's supposed to be it's close as they get Kubota orange it's not an exact match at the TSC this is a really it's a magic paint which well, really I put it on yesterday and it's really hard and slick I really like the finish that came out I just did that because the bucket was looking pretty rough on the back side, basically to prime all my welds and everything. But this little project worked out really good. The next part of this project will be, I've got the third function valve, and I'll do a video about it. I'm going to install the third function valve on here because I have purchased a Homestead Grapple Pinnacle. Uh, I'll get into more about that on why. A lot of it had to do with lead time uh, versus another brand that I was looking American made. But the lead times were six, seven months, and I just I needed something a little sooner than that. So I bought this 60-inch uh, homestead. Looking forward to getting it put on. But in order to put it on, I ordered it with the universal uh, attachment mounts, universal skid steer attachment mounts. So it'll go right onto my tractor, and I'll be able to use it up in my up in my woods. I had this place logged years ago, and well, you can't even see it from here, but. Way up in the woods, I've just got a bunch of debris down, and I'm just going to go pick that up and be able to pick it up and put it in burn pile, so it'll be really nice. But just wanted to do this quick little video and say it's a fun project. I, I like doing stuff like this. I don't do a lot of videos on them. But again, the, the attachment, uh, Universal Skid Steer Attachment came from skidsteer.com. Uh, it, it came in the time frame they gave me, which was about, at that point, I ordered it back at the very end of February. And I got it about two weeks ago, something like that. And this is 1st of May, 2nd uh, of May. So it came within the time frame uh, that they told me. The valve assembly that I've got, it came really quick. And the uh, Homestead Industries Pinnacle Grapple also came, Root Grapple came within the time frame. So uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's beneficial. I'll try to get some more content out for these type of jobs. Uh, in the future. God bless. Have a blessed day.